Okay guys, welcome to what I think is going to be here, part two, starting the studio reconfiguration uh, or rebuild, whatever you want to call it. If you didn't see part one, link will be in the description box below. So we talked about last time, basically what we're going to do is we're going to take these two racks, this rack here, and those are going to end up being on this side of the console over here and all that stuff, records and whatnot, that is all going to be moved to behind in this little cubby back here. So that's what we did talked about in the last video. Oh, and by the way, this is all being done with just handheld, my DJI action cam, and I'm not even using a lab on this part of the video. This is just a camera mic picked up from the GoPro or from the DJI. So um, hopefully the audio will be good enough for just this narration part. Um, I just wanna show you where, what's step one. So step one is I need to label everything so what we're going to do is we're come back here and sorry for the audio quality and the picture quality here but in order to do this all by myself i got to be more concerned with <coughs> pardon me getting stuff done and just documenting quickly and not really worried about high production value so hopefully that's cool so anyway what we're going to do before i start disconnecting all of this stuff i want to label everything so when i'm putting it all back together it's just like a big erector set it's like building a puzzle so what I'm gonna do, the first thing I need to do is I need to come through in all of these XLRs on all the different gear. I wanna put a little label on each one of the jacks. Which one are they going to, okay? Because they're all gonna eventually be traced down to the patch bay. And the patch bay um, is labeled. Most of the connectors are labeled. We label them as we put them in, but some of them are not. So I gotta double check and make sure all the labels are correct so we can eventually disconnect Everything's got to be disconnected, right? Everything's going to be disconnected. So you'll see some of these already have labels from when I first installed the equipment. Well, I would say probably 75% of them do, but there's some that do not. Like some of these 500 racks don't. This 500 rack doesn't. Um, there's a couple of the API. EQ doesn't. There's a few things here that doesn't have labels. So I got my trusty gaffer's tape, my one inch gaffer's tape. So I can easily see things and I'm just going to label every single piece and then start, once I get everything labeled, I'm going to start disconnecting, coiling things up, putting them off to the side. Um, and my goal today, this is day one, is to get everything labeled, get all the cables, maybe all the cables disconnected and organized on the floor so I know where, where to put them when we put everything back together. And then you'll see this is all just a big rat's nest of stuff. And again, we're going to try to cable manage this better when we redo everything. A lot of this uh, has to do with the fact that we, you know, we built this stuff over time. And as we were adding stuff and adding cables, it just, you know, got to be a mess, as you can see. <laughs> you know, things are just a mess. And, and it's never going to be perfect. I mean, the, the bottom line is there's a ton of analog gear here. So we're going to have a lot of cables, but we're going to try to do this a little bit better. There's a lot of stuff down here and it's all going to get labeled and you know there's all kinds of things here so that's today's goal today's goal is to simply make sure every single connector is labeled of where it's going to go and then start pulling some of the cables and getting them organized to clean all of this out because once i do the gear to the patch base that's today then tomorrow it'll be the patch bay cables that go to the console that run along the floor and go up to the console and the same thing I got to make sure all the cables on the front of the console are labeled and they are but I want to make sure that they're getting to the you know making sure they're all labeled on both sides so I know where the cables go now some of the problems going to be we walk back out here for a second <clears throat> some of the problems going to be because the because the racks are going to go from the right side of the console to the left side of the console we're going to have cables that are going to need to be flip flops So, in other words, the cabling that's on the last two buckets of the SSL are shorter to the patch bay than the ones from the first two buckets. I believe these are like 20 footers and I believe those are like 15 footers. So 15, we're going to have to reverse them. So we have the longer ones or the shorter ones on this side and the longer ones on this side. And honestly, guys, I don't know once I get everything physically moved, I'm not worried about the gear to the patch base. That's all going to stay the same 
the configuration of all of this stuff isn't going to change, so those cables are going to be fine. But I am a little concerned about some of the cables that go from the console to the patch bays, that they may not all be long enough, because what I want to try to avoid is having something like this laying in the center of the walkway to the back of the rack. So, as I said in the last video, I'm thinking, and again, sorry for the poor lighting and whatnot. Um, when I come out of the console, instead of just running it across the floor back here to where the racks are going to be, I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to go, at the very least, up to the perimeter of the wall and run it along the perimeter. So that means each one of these cables is going to have to be longer to make up for that distance, if that makes sense. So it's nice and neat and out of the way. So we're going to have to see, and I won't know until all the cables are disconnected, we're going to have to see how that's going to go. The last thing I want to have to do is go buy another half a dozen Mogami Gold cables at 250 bucks a piece too. So we got to be sensible um, to some degree. I mean, nobody ever comes down here. So I mean, if there is, I got to try to be sensible because we're going to have to go from the corner of the console over here and then it's going to snake in and then the, the racks are going to be right here as we talked about in the last video. So anyway, we'll know till we get there and that's why I got to take my time doing this because I'm all here by myself. There's no help here. So um, that's the goal today. The goal today is going to be labeling, getting the mess of cables, start to declutter some of this stuff and uh, and then we'll go from there. So wish me luck and I'll, uh, as I make progress and as I start getting stuff done, I'll come back and uh, add some more, uh, some more footage to this video. Okay gang, little update here on uh, day two of this uh, studio rebuild or reconfiguration. Again, using the, uh, the action uh, cam here and just the camera microphone. Sorry for the not so great audio quality. So a couple of things I wanna show you where we picked off. So the first thing is that now the record collection has been moved um, all the records have been pulled, all the books, all that stuff. I still got to disconnect some of the equipment up here. Um, and then these racks are going to be ready to be moved out of here. We have a new, uh, new area rug coming today. That's going to, uh, that's an old beat up rug. I got a new one, um, that's coming. That's going to fill up more. It's going to kind of butt up there and fill up more of the, the floor area. So that's coming later today. And then once I disconnect all that equipment, all this stuff could come out. The new rug will go down and all that stuff will kind of be put in the back room for now. And um, so that's ready to go almost. Uh, behind the racks here, I did the labeling project we talked about. That's been done. I'll show you what I did. So basically what I did, uh, you can see now everything has got the labels on it. Every single piece of gear has labels. So we know where it goes, all the 500 racks, all the patch bays, everything from, uh, from top to bottom, everything has got labels. And I basically did it so I can, it's like an erector set now. Um, I'll be able to unplug everything from the patch bay, get all these cables pulled, coil them up, put them over to the side. And then once we put the racks in its final place across the room, everything can just be plugged right back into where it came out of. It'll be really simple. So it took me about two hours to make sure everything was labeled. So that's all completely done, but I haven't disconnected anything yet. The next thing I'm going to tackle um, after I get the new carpet and the record stuff out of the way, as I just showed you, then I'm going to disconnect all of this and get these racks ready to move. Once I get everything disconnected, um, come back out here, then these racks will be able to be physically moved from there to there. And then once this is uh, completely open, I'll be able to take those shelves for the records and put them back in the cubby like I showed you in uh, part one. So those two record racks are going to go back there. They're going to fit perfectly from side to side. So I'm going to take down the acoustic treatment, take down the guitar because there's really no re reason for that. Um, the racks are going to go from wall to wall. It's almost going to act like a diffuser. Um, I may actually keep that one up top because that'll be exposed wall for reflections. But for now, this will come out. The records will go back here. They won't stick out as far as this. They actually won't stick this out this far at all. They're, they're going to come not even flush with the wall. They're actually going to be seated back, which is going to open all this up. So once that gets moved, then the next step will be to start tackling that. 
is to start pulling the gear, making sure all the D subs are labeled on the back of all of those pieces of equipment. Um, we'll have, we will, we will have disconnected all of the D subs to the console. The console will be slid forward. Um, we'll get all of this stuff out of the way, get that rack pulled out and put to its uh, new destination. And then we'll have like some sense of order, the beginning of order where the new racks will be where they're gonna go. The records and all the stuff around that will be where it's gonna go. And then we can start organizing cables and start rerouting cables. So that's where we are so far. This is about three hours into all of this, made a lot of progress. I'll see you guys for the next update. Okay guys, back for another update here. This is the next day. I don't know what day this is. It's all gonna be in the same video anyway, but this is the following day after the last section that you saw. Um, so I just wanna kinda of give you an update of where I am. So if we look over here, you'll see the records. They're all gone. Everything's been cleared out. Um, I got some new carpeting down here to kinda of match the other carpeting here. Um, this is all just a concrete floor and I got area rugs all over the place. So I got a, another carpet over there kind of dress it up a little bit and um yeah here's all the here's all the the racks with the records and speakers and turntables and extension cords and all of that that eventually is going to go over here let me show you i made some progress here so you'll see here um i've started pulling cables from the patch bay so everything that goes to the console the start is now disconnected from the patch bay let me show you so here we are, so you'll see now the patch bay with the exception of the last four cables have been disconnected because I need to label these, these were not labeled. Or actually it's four, it's actually eight cables. But everything's been disconnected, I've been labeling them uh, one at a time, like I showed you at the end of the last video, all the XLRs are all labeled on all the gear. And then that all goes to the patch bay obviously. And so what I've been doing is been labeling, you know, the patch bay cables you know, every single one of them, where they came out of, which patch bay, which of the four, what slot it came out of, and then the other end is gonna be labeled here. So when we move everything, it's just gonna be like a giant erector set, just plug everything back in. Um, some of the rat's nest has gone away as I've been pulling cables, but it's still, this is gonna take all day. Um, and as you can see, I got, sorry, where do I got cables here? Going along the floor, onto the console, those are the ones, that's part of this big trunk here that goes to the back of the console and back to the um, to the interfaces and the NG levels. So my goal for today is to get the rest of these cables pulled out and then disconnect all of the, now that I have all the cables labeled, disconnect all the gear, take all the cables, coil them up, put them in storage for now, get all the power cables disconnected, everything pulled out of here. So these racks could be now mobile. That's my goal. I don't know if I'll actually get them physically moved because um, these are in three levels. I'll have to take the top two levels down. I'm planning to keep all of the gear just mounted in here. I'm going to get, I don't know if these will be too heavy to move myself, but I'll employ my wife. She's, uh, she's in good shape. <laughs> She'll help me break these down and then I'll be able to move these physically over here, kind of where they're going to go get them out of the way because my goal, sorry about spinning you guys around here. My goal is to get this area cleaned out so I could put all the records back in that whole system back in its final home place because that'll open up the room and clean everything up. And that'll be, so I'm thinking today, if I can get everything disconnected, get all the cables kind of organized and then physically get those racks over here. And then maybe later this afternoon or tomorrow morning, I can work on putting all the records back, get that all in its final place, open up the space, and then I can start working on this. Where then I'm going to have to start disconnecting, pull the console, start cleaning up all the wires so I can get this rack in its final resting place. So I can see how it's all physically going to lay out because I, you know, I measured everything with a tape measure, but you know how it is until you actually get it there, you don't know. But like I said, the good news is, we're gonna have so much more space behind the racks for cable management and for, you know, ease of working on, it'll be so much nicer. And what I'm thinking is that the racks are gonna kind of just sit flush with this wall. So we're gonna kind of come up to the corner of the wall here. So it'll just go straight across. And that'll leave me about four and a half feet behind the racks where currently we only have about three feet behind the gear racks, not even three feet and we have no 
We have no space to work behind this rack, which is why we're doing this whole project anyway. As I said in the last video, those are going away. My trio should be here in about another week and a half, which is great. But we're going to pull the console. We're going to disconnect every single cable and we're going to wire it all from the beginning. So I'll just start piecing that footage together on this video. And then my goal is to get to a point where I know David SJ from the recording of this video is coming up in about two weekends. But honestly, I might be able to get this all done before then. He may come up and help me do all the final testing and maybe some of the final stuff, but I want to be able to get the bulk of it done. And then I also got to deal with all the video cameras got to be taken down, all the, all the HDMI cables from all the video that runs behind the console. All of that's got to be cleaned up um, and everything's got to be repositioned. So that, that all is going to take time too. And then I think the video station that I was showing you in the last video, the video capturing for all the stuff we do is here. I really wish I, I'm part of me wishes I could put that table here because we have so much room back here behind the racks. I wonder if I could put it here and it's a, it's a sit stand desk. So if I keep it in the up position, you still have everything underneath. I don't know if that'll work. I don't know if I'll have enough space. It'll be too congested, but if that would work, then that eliminates this table out of the room too. You know, it's a pretty big desk just for that. You know, it takes up a lot of physical space. I don't know, we'll have to see. But anyway, that's the update. Wish me luck. We're gonna get all this taken care of and all these cables and we're just gonna keep moving forward. So uh, I'll be back in a few to show you uh, any more progress that I might've made. Okay guys, next little update here. Same day as the last segment. Let me show you what I've got, where I've gotten to thus far. So all the gear has been disconnected, patch bays, a lot of the cables are out of here now. We're down to the power cables. Sorry about the bad camera work. Okay, so all of the XLRs, all the signal cables going to the patch bays have all been disconnected now and they're being stored over here for now. And that's all the, the cabling from the patch base to the gear. Here's some of the power bricks for some of the audio scape and the, and the Wes Audio equipment. So I'm just kind of storing them there for now. I'll better organize them a little later. So we are down to now just pulling all of the power cables because all of the power, the way we originally did the wire management, which was worked pretty well, is all the power came down here to this set of wire managers. All these are power cables. And they ran down along the floor, around, behind the rack, up to here. So a lot of the extensions that came off the, the five power conditioners that came down here on the floor, where it kind of met up with this stuff, a lot of that's gonna be eliminated, which is great. So I need to pull all of these so I can get these racks completely free. So maybe I can get them mobile and get them moved. So that's where I am right now. Um, as soon as I get these racks moved out of the way, I'll come back and show you uh, some more video. So we're making progress slow, but sure. If I can get those racks physically moved over here by the end of the day, and if I just stop there, <laughs> it's a it's a win. I'm I'm doing this in like two or three hour blocks, so I'm here all alone. So I'm just taking my time. I'm in no rush. I have a couple of weeks with a break in the action where all my video content for mixing music analog for YouTube has all been done till the end of the year. Um, I don't have any client projects right now until probably the beginning of December. So I have about a month right now where I can do all of this. So that's why I'm taking my time and not trying to finish this all in two or three days. If this takes me two weeks, a little at a time, that's fine. Cause I still got, you know, my home recording made easy stuff, mixing made easy stuff. I still got other content, private students, things I got to do, but nothing that requires the, the analog rig. So anyway, that's the update. I'll see you guys in the next segment. All right, gang, here we are at the end of another day. Um, I'm beat. So this will be the, <laughs> This will be the last video from today's footage, but here we go. We got two of the racks finally moved over here. So there is the first two racks. The server rack is gonna go right next to it. Um, and that'll be fine. You're gonna have access to the get behind the racks right here, um, which is just a little bit of a little bit of a walk space, enough to get back here. And then here's the back. And I know it's a little dark, I apologize. And again, we have all this room now back here, about four, four, over four feet 
from there to the from there to there to, for more cable management and whatnot as i've been saying the server rack's going to sit right here going to probably going to have to move these guitars which is kind of a drag i kind of liked them there but i'm going to have to relocate them i think but not that big of a deal let me come out here so this is what's left of that area and this is tomorrow's project so tomorrow's project is going to be all those power cables all have to be pulled coiled up get out of the way so i could clear all this out so then the record collection can go back in this corner as we talked about take down the acoustic treatment because that's going to be behind the rack i'll need that somewhere else take down the pictures all this stuff is going to go that's going to go back there all this is going to get cleaned up tomorrow so if i can clean this up tomorrow and get all of this stuff back over here that'll be a win then the next day over the weekend i will try to start working on this start disconnecting this so we can eventually get that over there so the racks are a little bit more a little further away physically out of the sweet spot than they were before the racks are further away from me i'm sitting right here in the city position so the racks are a little further away from me that's true but honestly i don't know that that really matters because even where they were before you know they're not in the sweet spot they're not in the sweet spot there's nothing you can really do about it so they're back a little further from me um and ultimately, I think it's going to be pretty cool. I think it'll be good. And then then what's going to happen here is, again, this whole corner is going to be freed out. All this stuff's going to be gone. The records are going to be sunk back into the cubby. So that corner will all be freed up. I'll have the trios up here. Um, and that'll be it. And then I just got to reposition things like video cameras and those kinds of things. But ultimately, the only thing that kind of stinks about this is really trying to find the spot for my guitars now because the server rack's going to be in the way of it um so i'm gonna have to figure that out uh, i'm not really sure where i'm going to put them i kind of like them on that on that particular uh guitar stand on you know guitar wall mounts i kind of like that but that's okay um i'll figure out another way to mount guitars around the room you know they don't all have to be out at all times anyway but we'll figure that out. If that's the worst thing that comes out of all this, that's not a big deal. So that's where we are today. We're finishing up here. Um, and uh, yeah, that's where we are. So that's kind of where we're at right now. Again, I'll, I'll pick it up tomorrow. I'll start cleaning up and I'll record more footage um, as I get more, make more progress. So upwards and onwards, guys.